There is multiple ways of doing this depending on what you want to skip and a very important trick that's valid only for this fusion. Hi friends, WizD here. Welcome to a new Raid Shadow Legends video. Today, Packmaster Check Fusion started in game and we want to talk about the fusion plan, what you can do and how you can optimize doing it. It won't be a very easy, smooth sailing one, but we have a couple of options to, to pick which fragments basically we can skip. If you notice behind me, if you're following the channel, especially our last like Vizoctenex video, we haven't opened open shards for almost two months. I was piling too many shards. I had 39 sacreds saved from clan boss. Yesterday was progressive chance for Nut, and I was thinking, those are too many sacreds, I'm not doing anything with them. I went too deep. What I promised myself is that I'll open sacreds till I get two Legos, because the first one, if it's not Nut, it's going to boost our chances for 25x for Nut, which is still a gamble. There are so many Legos in the game, and I have too many dupes, bad ones, uh, not to say. But yeah, I opened 27 sacreds yes yesterday and I'm not regretting it, but that's I'm in game. I can pile that many from clan boss events and such. And I got my second nude. So yeah, probably I will do some content sometime about it, but that won't be valid for most players because if you're lucky, like most players don't even have the first one from the fusion. Uh, but yeah, I got my second nude. I'm super hyped about that. Yeah. I was dancing in clan chat yesterday, but yeah, let's jump into the fusion plan uh, specifically to tell you about the big tip that you can start doing today and what events you can skip to get that fusion if you want to. So we have the fusion plan on the screen. I'm not blocking anything today, Thursday, July 4th. Happy July 4th for all everyone living in the US. Uh, we started with Ice Golem, but Dragon Dungeon Divers is starting tomorrow. So as everyone is saying, probably it's better to wait on farming uh, Ice Golem till tomorrow, just to double dip with Dungeon Diver. But the two other events that started today that you can actually do something good about them is that Summon Rush and Champion Training events. Usually it's not that good, well, yeah, good or not good when they start like a dungeon event with Champ Training because... You don't know where to use this energy. This fusion is going to be heavy either on your silvers and gems or on your shards, depending on which resources you saved more. And depending on that, I'll give you a couple of plans about which few which events you can skip towards the end. But the best thing for you to do today and probably after you finish uh, like Ice Golem and Dungeon Divers, maybe Friday and Saturday, is to use green shards, mystery shards for Summon Rush because it's coinciding with champ training. Let's check the events here in game. I already started doing that. I cashed all of the energy I can buy from the clan shop to start doing this. I'm not doing it with green shards because I have enough of the other shards. Probably I'll do this, this fusion completely with ancients because I don't care about Chimnath. It's a guaranteed event for 150 ancients. Um, She's not a bad champ, but yeah, yeah, she's not top tier anywhere. Okay. I will start piling sacreds again if I can. We have, we might have two X sacreds in the champ chase, which is towards the end of the fusion. We'll talk about it in a minute. But the main thing here, you can open ancients uh, today, tomorrow, whatever. The summon rush is already there. But if you have thousands of green shards saved, like many of us do over time, you can summon these, especially if you have enough silver saved silver and bruise of course because this is going to be heavy on silver so you can summon a bunch of these feed them to each other i don't have space but that's why probably i started with champ training uh, clear some space summon green shards feed them to each other Pre prepare your three star chickens uh, pump bruise into them those are easy points for both summon rush and uh, champ training so depending on how many like in nude fusion actually that's what i created a video about i had like 4k green shards uh, saved and i did both sum summoning events only using green shards takes lots of time and effort so don't be fooled there but it's good that they're starting actually summon rush a day early so you have like three four days to summon green shards and then uh, feed them to each other and all of that all you need to do like yeah if you are into in-game territory and you want to even invest more you can get mythical books and stuff but all you need is 
3200 points to get all the shards in the event i highly recommend doing this with ancient and green shards don't skip fragments from this one let's go back to the plan to continue talking about it so let's say that you'll do this if you have the time shards and effort and silver saved so you'll do summon rush and champ training with a mix of ancients and green shards then starting tomorrow or saturday or whatever you'll you'll just farm ice golem and dungeon divers get the points there these are not skippable well you can skip them but i'm just saying you can only skip 10 fragments and get the fusion so so far i don't recommend skipping them from summon rush if you have even enough ancients saved there is no 2x or anything they just hit us with a couple of events for ancients so feel free to open them all get Chimnath, uh, well chistella lego even if not top tier and tackle all of these events so that's the plan till probably sunday then fire night will start on sunday monday and maybe it will coincide just a little bit with dungeon divers so some points if you haven't got everything yet fact enhancement straightforward silver saved uh, i have a video actually one of my best videos regarding fusion requirements what energy silver and gems and everything that you'll need i'll link it in the description below so just go through it day one just to see if you don't have enough resources don't waste waste your resources just trying to get for the fusion and falling short so i will link it in the description below i will also link in the description below my previous videos that i released a couple of days ago about why i think most people should go for this fusion even without the dog factors they might release a super dog that will make him way better but even as is he's good enough so yeah that's fire night and we're into friday second dungeon divers will start then second artifact enhancement all good there then we'll have another champ training starting wednesday dragon coinciding again with dungeon diver basically align your dungeon farming with the dungeon divers events so you're double double dipping your energy there artifact enhancement straightforward silver a classic arena straightforward arena fights if you are in gold one or higher these are not a worry at all and then we have towards the end towards the 17th spider tournament and third dungeon divers so um, we'll talk about champ chase in a minute they don't usually do like they do two longer dungeon divers now they're breaking them into three that's not a huge worry because if we check in game and that's what i talked about before usually okay dungeon diver will start tomorrow what i'm thinking so uh, dungeon divers when they break it into three it's for a lower point so it's more or less the same it doesn't make much difference in the resources maybe a little bit but not too much there so what resources do you have saved for this fusion and again check my video for what resources you need so if you have additional shards if you have shards saved we are expecting but plarium changes this on us that the champ chase uh, which will happen on Friday the 12th will be sacred 2x maybe they will release a second event for a guaranteed dog or whatever we don't know yet let's see that but the main thing here is that if you have enough shards saved do summon rush with ancients and green shards and save your sacreds for sacreds 2x and the champ chase and don't skip any um, fragments from shards if you can do that if you have enough shards saved because what will this allow you if you are a little bit low on silver and energy you can just skip dungeon diver 3 artifact enhancement 2 just skip two of these or if you're up to date with everything you can just skip spider and dungeon diver and finish your fusion a couple of days early bear in mind that tuesday the 16th it's going to be a cvc probably not personal rewards we had a couple of these so you can just wait and open them like summon a uh, pack master on tuesday it's a fragment fusion it's not going anywhere there is no uh, there is no fear of losing him if you don't summon him just keep him if you don't have an immediate use for him unless you want to build hydra uh, teams and stuff just keep him ready summon him for either cvc or even better for the next fusion depending on whether it's a good one but yeah you can keep him for the next fusion he will be worth 500 points so the first option the first plan if you are low on energy and gems but have enough shards saved is to skip spider and dungeon divers save yourself some energy and gems there if you're low on silver you'll have to do one of these and skip maybe artifact enhancement too but what if you're low on shards but you have loads of energy and gems saved 
then back to skipping one of the shard events if you have enough green shards which probably you will if you're low on the other types of shards then get all the points from the summon rush because you'll be using green green shard champ training what i've said 10 times till now and then you can skip 10 fragments from the champ chase usually they are like phased 5 and 10 so just skip that other 10 and that's your plan these are the two ways to go whether you're low in shards or low in energy choose what you can skip here but they gave us both options and the main trick use green shards for summon rush so you can use this for champ training I promise this is the last time i'm saying it i just want to make sure that you've heard it if you're jumping back and forth through the video that's all that's the fusion plan i recommend going for this champion i link the videos i mentioned in the description below go check them out thank you for tuning in today i'll see you next time bye